Hey, hello friend. Today we will talk about Kaizen, the art of continuous improvement. Firstly, I would like to say to you, it's a blog. So if you would like to read it, I will share with you the link and you can easily read it. So let's go. So what is Kaizen? Kaizen is a Japanese term. Kai means change and Zen means better. We can also generalize with continuous improvement for Kaizen. Basic principles of Kaizen. The Kaizen philosophy focuses on continuously improving a product through small changes. Rather than waiting for significant changes, the aim is to make incremental alteration to the product. Another principle of Kaizen is creating a better and engaging environment for employees. While employees are working, their needs should be met, and a safer and less fatiguing environment should be provided. So, as a principle, we mention gradually changing the production for the better. How can we evaluate whether the change was good? There is a method to track and evaluate events in Kaizen. One of the most popular Kaizen tools and technique is the PDCA cycle, which stands for Plan, Do, Check and Act. In fact, this cycle makes it necessary to look at the events again and to produce new approaches. In this way, this cycle helps to understand the real cause of the problem rather than taking the problem superficially. Plan, do, check, and act, PDCA cycle. So the first thing is plan. This part is the first stage. Understanding a problem and planning for the solution has a vital importance. If the product is below the expectation, it is necessary to consider the plan of the steps to be taken to produce a better one. Plans instruction can be taken with brainstorming among employees while deciding the best solution. It is important to keep an open mind. There is a tendency to introduce bias to a solution that we had previously generated. To avoid this, it is important for brainstorming sessions to be cross-functional. So, another part is do. After the planning stage, this part is supposed to create a new version of the production. While creating the production analysis should be kept and recorded. Record the actions taken and the process followed during the implementation phase. This documentation helps in understanding and reviewing the steps taken and serves as a reference for future analysis and improvements. The another part is check. What you were hoping, what did you get? This part is about evaluating a production with the latest version. How did the production change and improved? It is similar to saying, is production Kaizen or not? In the cycle, some analysis such as quantitative and qualitative techniques can be used. So the last part is act. Act is the final step of the cycle. If the cycle have a good result for the production, the solution should be standardized and sharing among the company. The key is sharing what you have learned while the cycle procedure and it is to advance and develop this knowledge step over and over again. So in this blog, I just try to pay attention to Kaizen. Kaizen is about continuous improvement. So while making continuous improvement, how we are doing, we are just making small changes for the big good result. Like we are just making some small small changes for the big production. 
but how can we evaluate the changes like the small changes are good or bad and we can learn like we can evaluate as like doing the cycle plan do check and act cycle i just try to share short information about it and i think you can dive into the, the like the cycle much more which i talk about it but yeah so thank you for listening you can share your ideas or anything you want to add you can also contact me by mail i will share with you and that's it i hope you enjoy and have a good day